After announcing the entry of Pertec Team Murray in Sydney last week, today was the chance for the third generation racer, Matthew Bravham, to show off the set of wheels he will campaign at the 100th running of the Indianapolis 500 in 2016. The unveiling was done at the annual performance racing industry show in front of automotive key players and motoring media. It's just overwhelming, I think. Um, yeah, when I first got the phone call that I was going to be in the 500, I was uh, speechless. But, you know, at the moment it's starting to sink in. It's, uh, it's all building up. We've had a couple of announcements now and everyone's uh, given us some really great positive feedback. So really excited and, uh, and thrilled and can't wait for the experience. The unveiling of the car also saw boss Brett Murray announce that the team has forged a partnership with the Chris Kyle Frog Foundation, which honours the late Navy SEAL of the same name who was depicted in the Academy Award winning movie American Sniper. Established in 2014, the Chris Kyle Frog Foundation is dedicated to serving military and first responders through meaningful interactive experiences that enrich family relationships. Widow and executive director of the foundation, Taya Kyle, was also announced as the team's official ambassador. And it's something that I can't imagine a better thing to bring awareness. It's the you know, biggest sporting event, I think, in the world, one day sporting event. And to be able to have Chris's name out there and the foundation and the work that we're trying to do, we'll also raise some money with merchandise. It just feels like a really big blessing, really, to be able to be a part of this at all. For Bravham, the grandson of the great Sir Jack, and son of the highly regarded Jeff, the journey is well underway. But there is still plenty to be achieved before the 200 lap classic on May 29. You know, we've got a lot of time on our hands. You know, we can definitely make sure the media side of things is on point and then obviously myself and get prepared, you know, physically, mentally and, uh, you know, really do a lot of laps and visualisation and, you know, sim work. And there's a lot of things that go into the month of May. Bravin will return to the family home on the Gold Coast for Christmas. His last time to relax before focusing all his energy on the 100th running of the greatest spectacle in racing, the Indy 500.